Hi, I'm Katie Campbell. This is Dawn Morse with Core Elements. In this video, we're going to go through the NIRS test. This is a test for the shoulder joint. It will show a subacromium impingement or internal impingement. So we're going to start with our client sat down and we're going to assess the good side to, or the uninjured side to the injured side. So we're going to say Dawn has pain within the left shoulder. So we're going to first test the right shoulder. We're going to start with the client extending the elbow and then internally rotating the whole arm. I'm going to use my hand to support the shoulder and then we're going to increase flexion. So supporting the client's elbow, I'm going to bring the arm up, pushing through my left hand and then bringing my right hand towards me, increasing the flexion within the glenoid humeral joint. So this is the uninjured side. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. And then with the injured side, same thing. So we're going to extend the elbow, internally rotate the arm, and then using this hand to support the shoulder, I'm going to bring this arm all the way up to increase flexion and then release. So if the client says there's more pain at the front of the shoulder, it's more likely to be subacromium impingement. If there's more pain at the back of the shoulder, then it more likely is going to be internal impingement. So just to recap, the client is seated, arm extended, and then we're going to passively flex the arm, increasing flexion right at the end of range, using the other hand to support the shoulder. The client will say their symptoms present, either in the front or the back. The front more likely to be subacromium impingement, the back to be internal impingement. Mm -hmm.